Hi, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I like to go to Walmart and purchase their kitchen towels because they really do have a nice selection. And I just recently purchased two novelty towels that I'm going to show you how to embellish. So let's take a closer look. I really thought these were cute. I especially like this coffee cup one because I really do enjoy my morning coffee. Now both of these towels have the same print at each end. So I'm going to show you how you can get two towels out of one and decorate them or embellish them or you can keep them as one entire towel and I can show you how to embellish each end of the towel. This is a really easy process. You don't need a lot of fabric. All you really need to do is buy like a fat quarter or two, depending on how decorative you want to make it. If you do not live near a Walmart store, you can go to walmart.com and order them from there and have them shipped directly to your home. Now let's get started. Before you cut any fabric for these, or you even cut the towels in half if you're going to make two, you want to make sure you pre-wash and dry them to get any shrinkage out of them. Measure the width of your towel from side to side. This one measures 15 and 1 quarter inches. Add 2 inches to that measurement. So my piece of fabric I'm going to cut is going to be 17 and a quarter inches long by 4 inches. At each end of the fabric strip, fold it over 1 quarter inch and press. Then on the bottom edge here, you're going to fold it over once a quarter of an inch and press all the way down. Fold it over again a quarter of an inch and press all the way down. Then stitch close to this inside folded edge all the way across. Center your strip across this way to where you have the same amount of fabric extending out at each end. I placed mine, oh, maybe a half an inch, so anywhere from a half an inch to an inch below your little wine bottle there and then do a zigzag stitch all the way across. Make sure you use matching thread. Then at each end, fold it under like this and then stitch right across this inside folded edge right along here. I'm using this two inch wide lace ribbon trim that is by Simplicity. I purchased it at Walmart. Cut a piece that is two inches wider than the width of your towel and you're going to pin it up along the upper edge. How I'm placing it is it's overlapping the fabric and also onto the towel. So this scalloped edge portion of the trim is actually on top of the towel and the, rem the remainder of the trim is over the fabric. At each end, fold it under once and then wrap it around to the back and then stitch it down close to this inside folded edge all the way across and also do it at the opposite end. Then stitch over the scalloped edge part using matching thread. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. Now this was a really easy way to embellish a towel. Now I'm going to show you how to take this one towel you purchased and turn it into two towels. Find the center of your towel and then cut it in half. Fold the towel into thirds to where it's about six inches across this way. After you measured across your towel, and mine was six inches, I'm going to add a half inch. So I've cut two pieces of fabric six and a half inches this way 
by nine inches this way. Bring front sides together, pin them, and stitch a quarter inch seam on three sides. After stitching, trim some of the fabric off of both corners to where it's about an eighth of an inch wide. Then turn it front side out. After turning it front side out, reach inside and poke your corners out. Then take this to your ironing board and press all of your edges flat. Turn your edges inside at the opening up about a half an inch and press it with your iron. Make sure your towel is folded in thirds and cut a piece of Velcro that will go from this point here over to just before it folds. And you're going to stitch it on. So before you stitch, unfold the towel, stitch around the Velcro twice. Insert this towel inside and place pins across here to hold it. Then stitch close to this folded edge all the way across. Take the other side of the Velcro and place it down here about a half an inch from this edge and stitch around it twice. Then you would take this end and you can fold it over a drawer handle pull we hang our kitchen towels over the dishwasher handle. So you just loop it around your handle, close the Velcro up, and there you have a really nice kitchen towel. So out of just one towel, you can create two towels. And here's the but first coffee towel, and I did the same thing with it except the ribbons and the lace trim are just a little different, but the process of putting it on is exactly the same. The coffee cup fabric that I used is called Tea for Two Tossed Cups, and it was designed by Susan Wingett. I had a great time making these towels, and I hope you try them. They only take about 20 minutes for each towel, so make sure you go to your local Walmart store and see if you can find these really cute towels. Also look in your local Walmart to see if they do sell fabrics and crafts in your ribbons and trims. Now please follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time and happy sewing. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click on the thumbs up button and don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. If you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Click on the bell so you can receive notifications about my latest videos. I'm Cheryl and this is Scotty and this is Manny. See you next time and happy sewing!